So if you haven't seen it yet, I'm doing a brand new music production tip every day this month because I want to brighten up your January and in this one I want to save you some time. Now if you're putting beats into a track or vocals or bass, odds are you're probably putting the same kind of effects on in the same order in the same kind of way. Well I want to save you some time because you can actually group these effects together and then save them for later and believe me this really does save you some time. So when you're producing, does it sometimes feel like Groundhog Day? You kind of put a vocal in and then you find yourself putting the same effects on each time you do a track. So you'll put an EQ on there, you'll put a reverb on there, you'll put a delay on there and you'll put them in the same order each time and very, very kind of similar settings. Well, this is obviously wasting a whole lot of time because you're doing the same thing each time. But what you can do is you can group all of these together and save it as a preset for your vocals. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So as you can see here, this is one of my tracks and on here I have a vocal track. Now on this vocal track, I have several different effects. I've got an EQ, a high pass filter, a low pass filter, a reverb and an echo. Now this is kind of standard for how I'd set most of my kind of vocals up. And what I want to do is I now want to group all of these effects together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the last one, for example, scroll all the way to the front, hold down shift on my keyboard and then click on the first one. That will select all of the effects within there. And what I can do is I can right click on this and go to group. This groups it all together as an audio effect rack. Now there's a whole lot of stuff you can do within this as, as regards setting up macros and things like that. I'll show you that in a second. But what we can do from here is we can rename this so I can call this Richie's vocals perhaps. And then what I can do is I can save it and this saves it as a preset within your browser. So you can see there now under audio effect rack, we have the Richie's vocals preset. So if I delete everything from within here, so we can see that this vocal track now has nothing on it. If I now drop this into here, we can now see that it has everything all set up just as I did before. So it's got everything all set up ready for me to go. So we have everything all set up there ready for me to start using. Now I won't necessarily use it exactly the same way every time. For example, I might not need an echo or I might not want a reverb, but it gives me a good starting point and I can tweak it from there. Okay, so let me show you another example. Now on this vocal track, as I mentioned, we have two auto filters on here. I've got a high pass and a low pass. Now with the auto filter, you can do one or the other, but quite often I find myself automating both a high pass and a low pass. So I need both of them on the track. Now what I can do is I can actually group these two together so I can select both of them and go to group. And then I can almost make a multi filter out of these. So if I can now go to the macros within here, for example, I could then map these to any of the controls within here. So say, for example, I could do the high pass first. I could map the frequency to macro one and that would show the uh, high pass frequency. And I could also map the resonance to macro two. And then the on the low pass, I can map the filter frequency on that to macro three and then the resonance to macro four. Now I can go through and kind of map all these other controls, but that gives me most of the stuff that I need. And what I can do from then, I can just close this down and I've got this audio effect in there. So now I'm gonna rename this, I'm gonna call this multi-filter. And this then gives me the controls over all of this. Now to kind of, so when I come back to this a bit later, I then know what's going on. I can actually rename any of these controls. So I can do this as high pass, frequency and I can rename this one to high pass resonance and then this one to low pass frequency and this one to low pass resonance. So that's all set up ready for me to use and all I need to do now is just click the save icon so I can now use that whenever I want to. Say for example on these roads I can easily just drop that multi filter in and there you go I can start using it. And if I wanna get in and tweak it, I can click the devices and then have a look at there and tweak them as much as I want to. And if I made a tweak that I really like, then I could resave this preset so I could then use it a little bit later. So as you can see, it's really easy to group your audio effects and saving them for later just means you're gonna save so much time on your next track. Now I'm not saying you have to use the same effects and same settings each single time, but it gives you a great starting point. And honestly, that is gonna save you so much time. So yeah, definitely give 
give it a go, see how it works in your workflow. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I've got another tip coming tomorrow. As I say, every single day this month, a brand new music production tip. So definitely subscribe and hit the notification icon so you're notified the moment that pops online. And hopefully I'll see you again in the next one. Oh,